Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to Miranda in Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. You should recognize this name, as we have been, as in the Velt, Velt, we helped an injured soldier from here. I wonder if he's around. Well, no, of course not. I wonder if his girlfriend is around. Nope. I mean, to the you, you know what I meant. Not that, you know, let's just keep going. Miranda used to be the most beautiful town on the continent, but then the Empire came along, and now look at it! These soldiers are out of control, and there's nothing we can do about it! How long do we have to put up with this? Well, not too much longer, hopefully. Mostly the same stuff as the other shops, although, notably, Miranda sells green barrettes. However, since I already have five of them, I picked up another one on the way here. Oh hey, it does have Mithril Mayo, though. Um, that might be... I might want some of that. I don't, I don't want any for Slez because of the white dress, but... How does it compare to the vest? Strictly better. Okay then. Let's buy one more of those. Since Locke can indeed wear it. Right there. Uh, oh no, he's wearing the ninja gear though. Um. Well, it doesn't lower his speed that much actually. I mean, I'm pretty sure daggers have speed as a component of their power. It was like that in Final Fantasy V, so I see no reason it wouldn't be like that in this game as well. Um, but even so, he's not, I don't really have him around to deal physical damage, so this seems a fine trade. And in any case, it's only a small drop. Actually, I really need to remember to look up the damn formula for that. My son was forced into the Imperial Army. Oh, I hope he comes home safe. Well, that's kind of... Eh. I wonder... Nope. Eh. Weapons! Oh hey, this is new. But only Edgar can use that. And therefore, it is basically worthless. That's only good for counterattacking, which doesn't even happen that often. Yep, pretty much. Was there a bird on this house? Hmm. Roses. He sent me the book he'd been reading. I've been reading a little, it a little bit every night before bed. I'll treasure it forever. The, indeed, this is the girlfriend of the guy in the belt. Nice to know that she's at least is doing well. <laughs> I'd laugh, but I shouldn't. Anyway. That's about all we had to do here. Not much, it must be said. Now, there are a few hidden items around these towns that I've been ignoring, because frankly, I don't care about them. Um, the elixir is the only thing I care about, and you know, I've checked all the clocks. Everything else is just medicine con consumables that are all fairly cheap. So, Let's head for... Okay, let's see. Uh, now, if I can just get more than five steps without getting into another battle... Okay. I brought that one on myself. Let's, let, let's just keep going. We, we're near. Near-ish. And you are quick to go down. Because all I need to do is... Oh, hey, you did they berserk him? 
It looks kind of like, yeah, he's totally a berserk. But I think they inflicted something else as well. And I'm not quite sure what. I'll have to double check to make sure that's not something permanent. No, doesn't look like it. That would explain the echo screen. I think I actually want to go down here, because I need to go around the mountains. You can only enter them from a certain location, as I recall. Hmm. Okay, um, can I? No. That, that was kind of obvious in hindsight. I don't remember where... I, I already passed the way in, didn't I? Okay, uh, yeah, it's right here. Okay, then. Okay. And here it is. Uh, after I kill some grass worms. You know, I was just thinking I could go for some barbecued... I'm going with... Crickets? I don't know. There's some kind of obscure giant insect. But I bet they're good eatings after they've been thoroughly barbecued. In any case, to the Imperial City of Vector. Uh, although I'm going to walk right back out because I need to save. There we go. Now, as I was saying, the Imperial City of Vector. Now... I haven't seen you around here before. Why don't you go climb back down whatever holy- Wow. What an asshole. Now there's a few things to you note. First of all, we're not going to go to the inn, because the innkeeper will rob us in our sleep. Which is not really ideal. Nope. Guards! Time for... Fire. Death by fire! But... <laughs> there is actually a reason we came here. And it wasn't just to barbecue us some guards. Hmm. You just might be able to do it. In fact, it's because this woman will heal us for free after we fight her guards. So, you know, not actually a big deal. Just don't go to the inn. Uh, we're also not going to go to the weapon or armor shops because they don't have anything new. At this point, we've seen everything they have to offer. Uh, which just leaves us one place to go, really. Um, after talking to a bunch of people. Sid, the director of Magitech Research, is a genius! He gave my son the gift of cure magic! I heard General Celez went over to the Returners! Why join the side that has no hope of winning? I don't know. You tell me. Um... Huh, I guess he heals you, f he can heal you as well, although only your HP. Whereas the woman he heals your magic as well. I think we want to go up here? Maybe not. Um, yeah, I guess we do. Although, there's a bit of tricky track here. General Leo's never had a Magitek infusion. He's a warrior's warrior! Well, I can't- oops. Uh... No, we aren't? I- I don't think he bought it. You guys look famil kind of familiar, don't you? Well... We'll see what we can do about that. It starts with fire, and it ends with chainsaw. They do look kind of familiar, though, don't they? <laughs> yeah... 
Except this time, we won't get kicked out of the city for, for fighting them. So you know that's something. Let's just, let's just hit him. Oh, hey, we didn't even need to. That was close. Oh, we totally got kicked out of the city for fighting him. Oh, whoops! <laughs> Oopsie. I thought that we were supposed to do that, though. Hmm. Well, we do need to go that direction. Although, clearly, we need I need to be more prudent <laughs> about avoiding, um, soldiers. Once again, uh, whoops. Hey, it's the pub! It's the pub! But do they have a clock? Oh, they don't have a clock. That's disappointing. Well, that's sort of half true. I mean, they're extracting magic, but not from monsters. Let's see. I guess we need to go past him. We just I'll just have to be careful. Yeah. I actually probably should fight one of the ones with magic attack armor. Just to get the you know what? Let's do it. I have a reason for doing this, and it's not to waste time. It's because I want their uh entry for the belt, basically. Also, I have Thunder Magic, which is very effective against the robots. Oh, that wasn't as effective as I thought it would be, truth be told. Oh well. I sh think I shall still make short work of them. Yep, that's confirmed. And 4 AP. That's a lot. But yeah, mostly I wanted them for the Velt later on, because they're a... Unless I'm getting mixed up, they're a decent Unleash. Uh... I know one of the Magitech soldiers is actually a pretty good... Um... Like, sort of midpoint one for Gao. Like, it's not the best offensively, but it's a decent... Because it's has okay offense and also decent defense. That said, I don't recall if it was this one specifically, so you know, I'll we'll figure that out later, I suppose. We seem to have entered the Imperial Palace. Ah, uh, this could be a problem. Filthy Returner Scum! Uh oh. Is this what I- uh, yeah it is. Um... Wait. Wait. I need to check something really quickly. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I need to run away from this because it will kill me. I had to double check my notes, but... They told me what I already knew. That that thing, as we were warned, is indeed nothing to be trifled with. Um, as we, we seem to have taken a wrong turn at some point. That's, after all, that wasn't the Magitech Research Facility, it was the palace. I kind of do want to fight it, though. Um, but I know it'll kill me. You know what? I'm going to fight it, then I'm going to end the episode, because I'm around that time anyway. So, I'll just, you know, end the episode when it kills me. And next time I'll go to the Magitech Research Facility. Aha! And besides, I want to see how well I can do. 
I mean, really, it can't be that tough, can it? Uh, drill? Uh, did I just deal zero damage? Is that it? Nope, that was wrong. Maybe I can instantly kill it. Nope, that was wrong. Man, I don't remember what this command is. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep trying to get proc instant kill. Ah! It does give you a lot of time to run away, though. So, you know, that's a thing. Wait, did I do this already? Clearly, I did. Because there's only four combinations, and I've done this four different times, so... Eventually they'll get it. Seriously? Yeah, that's okay. That's interesting. What do you mean incorrect? Ow! I don't remember the com command for suplex. You know what? Let's, let's just... That's unhelpful. Wow. That is hardly anything. Well, that's disappointing. I mean, I wanted to suplex it at least once, but apparently I have forgotten. Guess what I'll be looking up next time. But... We may as well end this farce. I have now proven that this thing is indeed unkillable. So, until next time, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Blue, and have a good day when we don't fight the Guardian!